Well, Jeff, if we look back on January, as always, a, a busy month, how has it, it gone for you? Can you tell us about how it started with your international time? Uh, yeah, I think it was the second week of January. I had a, a one week with the under 21s in the, in Turkey, uh, where we had a, a training camp and played a, one game against Slovakia. Uh, I played 45 minutes there. Uh, so yeah, it's always good being a, being away with the national team. Is that a good learning experience uh, in terms of getting minutes for the 21s? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we have a, a strong group there, so you have to to be on your toes to 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 get, to get minutes and play for them. Uh, so it's always learning for to to be away uh, with the national team. And that did mean you missed the match with Bordeaux, but quickly after that we headed to Portugal. Uh, you obviously featured heavily in that trip. How how was that trip for you? Reflecting on it, I think it was a great trip. Uh, it's good, always good at coming away with the with the lads uh, going abroad. Uh, I think we have a good group. Uh, always getting getting closer to each other when you when you get a, get away. Uh, played some good games down there. The the conditions and the hotel was was great as well. So I think overall it was a, a really good trip. Just looking at the the games that we play, we played FC Seoul, Ferreras, and then Astana. What are the highlights in terms of the games that we played out there for you? Uh, I think especially the first half against the Vizol, we were 2-0 up, uh, we played really strong. Uh, and then uh, the Ferreira game, we dominated completely I think. And then the last game against a, a strong uh, a strong side, we, we played well. Uh, Astana is a, is a good team and uh, played in the, in the EuroLeague uh, before, so yeah, it was a, that was a good team. There's a lot to learn from that, that Astana game because Although you came away disappointed that you lost, you played really well. But I guess it's all about being clinical, like like they were. Yeah, you see, the, it's a men's team, and you see, they don't need many opportunities than they than they score. I think that that's something we can take uh, and uh, and put into our game. Uh, I think it will give give us a, a big ad- advantage. And what's it like for you coming up against different sorts of strikers as well? Did you feel like you adapted well to it? Yeah, I think uh, I think so. Uh, I think it was some good experiences playing against the different strikers uh, from different nationalities. Uh, the different styles of playing, uh, and I think that you can see that on the on the strikers. But I think we we did good. How much you enjoyed these tours going away with with the other players? Is it good to learn from being in different surroundings? Yeah, I think so. It's 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 great. Uh, it's always some some good tours. Uh, the mood and the mood is good. Uh, and players are, are looking forward to to go abroad. It was nice and warm in, in Portugal, so it's always good. You've obviously come on loan for the season. How much have you enjoyed your time so far at the club? Uh, I think it's been a been a really good time for me personally. Uh, I started off the, the first two months uh, being being injured, uh, but I think I've come back strongly, uh, feeling fit now. I've worked a lot with the with the physios and, and the whole staff, uh, so I'm feeling um, yeah, I'm, and I, I had hundred percent now. How has your game developed from when you first arrived until now? Um, I think I've learned a lot. The intensity is. It's way higher here, and then uh, I've used to play in, in Denmark. Uh, I've played against many, many different uh, uh, sides, uh, so I think it's my de- my game has de- developed a lot. Do you enjoy that intensity of the playing in England and the physicality? Yeah, I think it's great. Uh, I love it, uh, and I think I, I have adapted to it now, uh, and I've learned from it now. So, but yeah, but I love it. Have you enjoyed living in England and London as well? It's nice. Uh, obviously, I'm living with uh, Jakob and Matt Speck uh, at the moment. I think uh, that's really good. Uh, and I think the area and and the whole place is, is really good. Last week, we had the quarter-final match against Wingate Finchley, a 1-0 win. How pleased were you all to come through that and set up a, a semi-final match? Uh, very pleased, uh, because we have many games, but these cup games, we will have something to, to play for. Uh, and it's a, it's a goal for us to, to win those cup games and the, and the tournament. Uh, so, to, so to advance to the semi-final is, is really good. Do you see any reason why you couldn't go on and, and, and go and win it? No, not at all. Uh, we, we played uh, Wollstone early in the season and lost, so we have something uh, to arrange. You must be really pleased with how the month has gone for the team in terms of progressing that cup and sending out some really good performances as well. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think we look uh, very strong now. Uh, if you compare to the to the beginning of the the cup, uh, I think we look stronger now. Uh, we've played against di- different uh, different sides, and I think we know how to to handle and play these games. Uh, even though they come from lower leagues, you have to to be in the toes because they they're good. And I guess now it's all about working hard for the rest of the season and make sure these development tries continue. Yeah, of course. Uh, I've started t- training a bit with the first team and uh, that's a goal for me. I want to train uh, regularly with them. Uh, so I'm uh, trying every day to, to improve that. Uh, otherwise, we have some, some good fixtures coming up now. Uh, we said we talked about the, the cup. Uh, we want to win the, those two cups. Uh, so yeah, we have. it looks good. 
When you go and train with the first team, how easy is it to make that step across the pitch to, to train alongside them? Uh, I think it's it's not quite easy, but uh, I think we, we're doing many things right at the B team. Uh, we try to, to do the same things. The intensity is high, so it makes the the step easier. Uh, obviously, it's it's a really good group uh, you're joining when you're training with the first team, but I think it's, that's a lot to take when you're, when you're with them. Uh, so yeah, it's good. I suppose when you work with Neil and Sam as well, they're always going to push you, aren't they? What are they like, like to work under? They're great. Uh, I think that the whole mindset and, uh, and the passion for, for the game is, is unbelievable. Uh, so every day they, they try their best to, to push us, uh, and I think they're, they're doing a, a great job. And just finally, we look to Austria this weekend, heading to play FC Liefering, another men's team, and I guess a, another tough match. Yeah, uh, this should be a re- very strong style. Uh, I think it's the it's Red Bull Salzburg second team uh, we're playing, so they should be good. Um, really looking forward to, to playing them and hopefully get, get a win.